Welcome to another episode of Meal Prep Monday. I'm your host and founder of Prep Dish, Allison Schaff. Today, I'm talking about food schedules, weekly rhythms when it comes to meals and grocery shopping, and what mine is looking like right now. This is something I've talked about in the past on the podcast, but I find that my schedule is something that's constantly changing and in flux depending on a lot of different things. And so right now I found kind of a a rhythm that's really working for me and my family in terms of, you know, purchasing groceries, picking them up, doing the meal prep, doing the meals. And it looks different than it did probably like five or six months ago. And there's a lot of little things that have kind of worked really well. So I wanted to get on and just share those with all of you. And I know for me, I love hearing other people's schedules and details, routines, rhythms. It just really helps me to visualize how how I could tweak mine and really just make uh, make something that works for me. So, and there are kind of a few tweaks that I've made specifically based on just a few ideas of like, oh, well, this would work better for this reason. So. Where I'm at right now is we are typically, I'm putting together a grocery list and and actually the grocery order because I do a curbside pickup and I'm putting together the order on like a Tuesday or Wednesday with the pickup always on a Thursday, Um, meal prep, usually Thursday, sometimes Friday, and then, you know, eating those meals um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday maybe we skip one. So it kind of lasts us through Tuesday with Wednesday being a catch all day and then kind of, you know, rinse and repeat the next week and using the, you know, prep dish meal plans right now. I'm also helping and testing them. So a lot of weeks I'm actually a few months ahead of everyone else testing out kind of a a future, um, super fast plan. And so a few reasons for the switch up in these days. So one of the things that I was really struggling with was getting the grocery order in. It doesn't take much time, but it's a task that requires me to be at my computer. And in the past, I was trying to do that grocery order over the weekend. I guess it was like, because it felt like a family task, I would just save it for family time. And it really like, I just, it would get to be Sunday afternoon. And it was one of those things that would hang over my head that I needed to do it. And I realized it was, it was really hard because I was, I was trying to be present and be with my kids. And so then to try and get out of that. And my husband was usually home. So I could tell him, Hey, I'm going to go do the grocery order. And I would sit down and do it. And it really didn't take that long, but it just felt a lot more difficult trying to fit it in on the weekends. And so I finally switched up so that I was doing that curbside order on, you know, Tuesday or Monday, or, you know, I had to have it done by Wednesday. It was so much easier to find that 15 minutes to plug everything into the order and, and check the pantry and see what we need, you know, kind of do my process of putting in my grocery order. Even though it's quick and simple, it's just so much easier to carve that time out during my workday versus the time that I was spending with my family. So switch the curbside pickup order from family time to scheduling, you know, just, and I don't even have to schedule time for it because during the week, it's easier for me to just have it on my to-do list. When I would find myself with 15 extra minutes, I just put in the grocery order pretty easy and no longer hangs over my head. Like, Oh, I need to get to that one last thing. So that's been really helpful. And then our, um, pickup day is always Thursday. The boys are in school Tuesday, Thursday. And because the grocery store is about 25 minutes away, I never do a grocery pickup unless someone is already going to be in town. Like I'm not going to drive 25 minutes just to pick up groceries. So I have kind of Tuesdays and Thursdays as the available dates. I started doing Thursday and after doing it, I think in the past I avoided doing that. I thought it was better to kind of do a Monday or t- even Tuesday meal prep and kind of have the meals for the week. But what I was realizing is over the weekend, because we had so little structure and it was more family time, it was harder to have the meals be something I figured out on the fly. It was much easier to have those meal plan meals actually taking place over the weekend. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, on, on a Tuesday or Wednesday, when we're starting to get low on the meals, I would have, you know, childcare come be coming out of a a work day and was actually easier for me on those days to 
if I had to come up with another meal that wasn't on my meal plan, it was it's easier to flex on those days than on like a Sunday evening. So I actually found that having my meals planned out on the weekend was more important than having them planned out like kind of midweek, just because of the, you know, kind of season of life that I'm in right now. And so that's worked really well. And I know some people, and you might say, well, don't you sit plan out, you know, I've talked about planning out your meals and getting your week and writing out each day and what you're going to have. And, and I do that, but I don't, always do it where I have every meal. Like if I'm using the prep dish meal plans, I just know, hey, here's the five dinners we're going to have over the next week. And each night I kind of look and see what works for that night or that morning I look to see what we'll have for that night. So I don't always assign every day a meal. I just know, hey, here's the five meals I have in the fridge to have this week. And then as we start to kind of run out of those, it's either like this leftover combination or, you know, one last kind of catch all meal before doing, you know, starting it all over again. So yeah, I I find that like having the structured meals of like what we're having over the weekend was so important. Again, I think this kind of goes back to like spending, you know, wanting to spend time with the kids and have it be, um, have my like workload be easier when I'm with them. So that way I can be more giving them, you know, attention and focus versus kind of distracted. So, um, I guess now that I'm talking about all this out loud, it's like almost switching some of those more like what I would consider family tasks versus work tasks, like into the weekday. Um, and again, like knowing that like I have the ability to do that, the flexible hours and all that. But I think a lot of times, like, you know, depending on what your work schedule looks like, it is a little easier to just tack on like a family task to when you're already in that like work mode. Cause I would put something like ordering the groceries, almost like I'm at my computer getting stuff done much easier to (laughs) kind of get into that mode versus trying to, you know, pry myself away when I'm in the middle of, you know, doing a dance party or reading books to my kids. It's a little, you know, that task is a little easier to, to anyway, transition in that way. So that's, what's kind of working for us right now is doing this rhythm of like the Thursday meal prep, having structured meals for the weekend. And it also kind of allows this like opportunity, the weekends, it's really hit or miss on if we end up eating at home or out, you know, we have we'll be invited to different things on a Saturday. Sometimes like once a month, our church will meet up afterwards for lunch after. And so, you know, we don't always eat at home on the weekends, but I like having the meals for fallback. And then, you know, if they don't, I know by Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be eating at home. So they really end up, we end up going through all of the meals before that next Thursday, but it just gives us a lot more flexibility, even if we don't use them, that they're still kind of there and waiting, if that makes sense. So anyway, this is the rhythm that's working for me right now. It is the curbside pickup too. I think in one of the previous ones, I'd been using a grocery delivery. I've kind of gone back and forth on my go-to grocery store, but I'm kind of back to doing the curbside pickup. They just seem to have more options. And I've also, for the next month, I have put a pause. I know I always talk, I love imperfect foods. And that was one of the other reasons for the weird needing, because their orders you have to do in specific time frames. And I've stopped doing imperfect foods for this month just because it is so dang hot out. And I did have an order where a lot of my meat went bad because we weren't home at the time they delivered and they do put it on ice and I know they make every effort, but dang, it's been a hot summer here in Texas. So I just think for the next month or two, best to put that on hold. Um, but I will say, oh, and I want to throw this out there though. If you have been wanting to try butcher box, um, I don't know if I've talked about them much on the podcast. We talk about them more in our email newsletters, but butcher box is something I use to just make sure I always have high quality meat in my freezer. I, you know, the local grocery store that I use, I do the curbside pickup. It's an HEB and they do not have as much, um, availability of high quality meats. In the past we have done like, you know, the buying a quarter of a cow or, you know, finding kind of some local sources for that. Um, but the, the butcher box is really, I think I've been a subscriber for like, gosh, several years at this point. And they just, I, I get my little shipment in every month of, you know, kind of the basics. There's like ground pork and bacon and ground beef and chicken tenders and a whole chicken. So kind of enough to like fill me in on those, 
some of them I'll use for prep dish meals and then also kind of just fills in those extra meals that I need throughout the week. And just having that, you know, those high quality proteins in the freezer has been really helpful. And when they sent their latest shipment, (laughs) they know what they're doing in terms of their icing. Like it was, we didn't notice it (laughs) until it had been out there. They said they were sending it and they sent it through FedEx and they are supposed to deliver to the door and we're supposed to sign for, but they did not do that. So it sat in our mailbox for a longer than it should have. And I was shocked. I got it out. I thought I was going to have to toss everything. And I got out my thermometer and everything was still within the the temperature check. And so very impressed with that. So I guess I'll continue those indefinitely. Um, I think we're on one of their promotions where we get like two packs of free bacon in every one of our shipments. So I don't really want (laughs) to, I don't want to stop that deal. Um, And I'll figure out what they're running. I'll put in the show notes if you're interested Um, in ButcherBox. I can put in the show notes like a link And I don't know what their current promotion will be when this airs, but they always have some sort of promotion when you sign up. Um, So we'll put our prep dish link in there if you're interested to try that out for your, you know, protein grocery shopping. Sorry, that got very off topic. I wasn't even, (laughs) did not even have that in my notes to talk about, but um, that is one of the other things that has impacted kind of this rhythm of like, you know, figuring out when to do the grocery orders and all of that. So Hopefully this episode helps some of you out there. I know, I just think it's really important to think through some of these schedules and routines that we're doing. And especially right now in the fall, I feel like getting back into, you know, a new school year, a new rhythm, it's it's good to just kind of evaluate what, what you have going on with meals and, you know, any of these tasks that you're needing to do, these household tasks. And is there a reason that you're doing it how you're currently doing it? And is there a way that that could be improved? Is there a way that ga- that could be tweaked based on current season that you're in right now? And of course, if you want to try prep dish, that's, um, we'll link that in the show notes as always. Um, two week free trial is prepdish.com slash MPM. You can try out all of our different, um, types of plans. So paleo, gluten-free, super fast, uh, and low carb, you'll have access to all of those when you sign up for that free trial. Um, and if you just want to try it out for like, hey, I just want to try one plan, just send me a text with that one plan. You can text the number 33777 and you're going to text the word meal prep. So all one word, and we'll just send you one of kind of the top plan that we recommend trying if you've never tried prep dish. So that's a way to just get a meal plan in your inbox pretty immediately is just by texting the word meal prep to the number 33777. Okay, that's all I have for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will be back again next Monday. 